We missed out on the league title on stream yesterday, so we're in the playoffs again. Can we finally get promoted at the fourth time of asking in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 29 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yet, big, big episode today. We are up against Alfreton once again. I did say in the last video that that might be a playoff preview. And such it has turned out because we are up against Alfreton once again. And yet, we've got to do it this time. Surely, we've got to get promoted this time. We have been fairly good this year. I think we deserve to go up. I think we are a National League team. We just keep on getting stuck in this league. So hopefully we can get out of it today. We are going to be playing not just this game. But if we win it, we will do the final as well. So hopefully we can get through both of them. And just before we do get into that... Let's just catch you up on how we have been doing since we was last together on video. We played Alfreton, like I said, in the last video. Beat them 2-1. And then after that, we beat Stafford 2-0. Xavier Simmons and Adam Marriott with the goals there. And then Farsley, we beat them 1-0. Diaz right with a goal. But then this one against Barwell. 1-0 defeat. And just look at these stats. Look at them. 17 shots to their one. Five on target to their one. 64% of the possession. They had the only clear-cut chance though. But how we lost that game. Answers on a postcard, please. Because I have not got a scooby dooby doo How on earth we lost that one. Very frustrating that. And so we moved on from that and we really hit back against Curzon Aston. 4-1 win. Adam Marriott with a couple. Simmons with another. Diaz right from the penalty spot. We had all four goals by half time. And that was a very, very beautiful performance. And then following on from that, we had a 1-1 draw against Blythe. That game against Blythe and Barwell, they are the two that really cost us the league. Because while we was going on this decent run, um, Solihull Moors, the team who ended up winning the league, they were going on a very bad run. We ended the last episode 11 points behind. And by the time we got to the game against Solihull Moors, we was only 5 points behind. So if we'd won both of those games, we might have been top of the league. So, yeah, very disappointing to not win the league. But a few decent results. Kidderminster, we had a 3-1 win. Adam Marriott with a hat-trick there. The man is just an absolute legend. I'm really, really loving him. Let's hope we can keep him for next season. And hopefully, if we go up, he might be able to do a decent job up in the National League. You never know. And then Southport, 1-0 win, Romain Mundell in with the goal in the 62nd minute. And then Gloucester, 3-1 win, Mundell with one, Marriott with another couple. But then the only two games we had on stream yesterday, we lost the league title decider to Solihull Moors. As you can see there, they scored very early on and then they added a second in the 70th minute. And we got one back with five minutes left. But we would have needed three goals by then to take the title to the last day. So very, very disappointing result there. But then this one was even worse. Well, I'll say it was even worse. As you can see over here, we played pretty much a weakened team. It's not saying we went for a weakened team there, but we did. We did. Why is it saying we played our first team? We didn't. Ah, OK, because it's saying because we brought the players on. But you can see here that we started with a weakened team. Coco Accio making only his first or second appearance of the season. 
And then a few others. Roll as well came in. Marriott got rested. And so, yeah, it was very much a weakened team. So we lost to South Seals 2-0. But we did that so we could keep players fit and healthy for this game today against Alfreton. And so, without any further ado, let's get into this game today and hopefully we can do better than we did last season when we got knocked out at this stage by was it boston last year who knocked us out no they won the league didn't they it was gateshead yeah so hopefully we can do better than we did last year let's go and see the team for today's game this is the team for today's game We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Jones is partnered in a centre defence by Hopkins for today. Just got an inkling, Hopkins is due a good game, he's not played for a while, so I've thrown him back in, hopefully he can do alright today. And then on the right hand side is a bit of a gamble, we've got Wardrop in at right back because... Well, it's a gamble because he doesn't enjoy big matches. So let's hope he can shake that off and he can do okay today. And then in midfield and up front, it's that familiar six. Mbala on the left, right and Simmons in the middle. Brown on the right hand side. And then up top, it's Mundell just behind the main man, Adam Marriott. For what is going to be a massive game. Come on, Linnets. The bookmakers have us as the favourites for the game at 6-4, to four, despite Alfreton coming into this game with four wins out of their last five, as compared to our three out of the last five. Hopefully the bookmakers are right this time. And we have got a pretty good record against Alfreton. We've won three, drawn two, and only lost the one. So that's another good omen. Come on, big, big game this. Alright, we're in the dressing room for what is a massive game. I'm going to say... Oh, I don't want to say anything about this being a poor run of form. What else have we got to say? Let's show the world what this team is all about. Or oh, you deserve to be in the final. Oh, I'm going to go for that. Mwah, 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 mwah. Wrong answer. Absolutely the wrong answer there. Come on, let's get some more reaction out of you. The midfield's happy. And what about Marriott? Yep, here we go. Okay, so prediction time. Ooh, I don't know. 2 1 us. I think it's going to be nervy, but I think we're going to get through it. 2 1 to us is what I'm going to say. First highlight of the game, and it's a Rogers corner for Alfreton. And we've. Have we managed to get it away? No, we haven't. Not really. Lumsden goes to Casey on the edge of the box to Lynch. Come on, can we win the ball back? Lumsden's in space. He's gone for the shot and it's in the back of the net. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's going to be deja vu, isn't it? We, we beat these in the last video. Why are we losing to them now? Lumsden in loads of space and it was just way too easy for him to get that in the back of the net. But immediately following that, we've got a kick-off. The ball's gone back to Herbin, wide to Wilson. If we can get an equaliser right away, that would be rather beautiful. Right, goes for the ball. Marriott tries to flick it on. It goes to Mundell. Mundell's in the box. He's gone for the shot, and that was blooming awful. But apparently the highlight's not over. We're still carrying on. Simmons to right, to Marriott, to right again. And Marriott gone for the run. He's in. Marriott is in. Can the goal score? Have seen equalise? Yes, he can. Come on, Marriott. Come on. That is why he is a legend. He scores big, big goals. And that's his 43rd of the season. And what a time to get it. And what a pass from Diaz Wright. He timed it to perfection. And Marriott, like the machine he is, got it pinpoint accuracy into the back of the net. 20 minutes almost gone. Alfreton with a header there. And Nicholson's header is saved by Herbin. And are we going to get a counter-attack on the go here? Herbin throws it long, goes to George Brown. And can he find a teammate? He has found Mundell. And Mundell is in space. He gets it into Marriott. He goes for the shot and that's just over the bar. 
Oh, one more highlight just before half time. Lunged and with the cross. We've got it away. And now on the counter. Can we nick a lead before we go to half time? Mundell plays it through to Marriott. Marriott, can he beat his man? No, he can't. I don't know what he's done there. He's just stood still and let the man kick it against him. And are we going to get it back again? We do. And Hopkins now with the ball long. Lake heads it away. It goes to Lynch, to Gill. And over the top, Hopkins goes to his man, Wardrop. Brown gives it back to Wardrop again. Right in the centre circle, goes over the top. Marriott is in again. Marriott in for his 44th of the season. But no, the keeper makes the save. We've got a corner ball. Come on. Mbala with it. Can he cross it in? He does and it just about gets away from the Alfreton defence. And that is going to be half time. It's one goal apiece. We've had seven shots, two there, eight, six on target, two there, four, two clear cut chances, two there, one. Possession has been split right down the middle. And this game is way too close to call at the moment. Let's go, team talk. Let's go, assertive. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm not happy. I'm going to try and get some fire into these lads. And most of them are motivated. 45 minutes left. Can we get a winner? Come on, you Linnets. 10 minutes into the second half. We've got the ball just going over the halfway line. But George Brown loses it to Hetherington. Goes to Gill. To Lake. Back to Gill. He tries to go over the halfway line. Can we win this back? No, we can't. All for Turner in. And they've gone for the shot, but it's Herbin with a phenomenal save that keeps us level as it stands. Okay, we're making our first change of the game. It's Fitchett coming on for George Brown. Can the youngster score another important goal for the club? Let's hope he can. We've got 20 minutes left before this game goes to extra time. First highlight since the sub, right with the ball goes over the top, Mondal nods it back to Wilson, to right, to Wilson, and he tries to get it to Mbala and just not happening. I think this might be Mbala's last season at the club, he's not done very well all year, as we win the ball back there, Wilson goes nowhere, no idea who that pass was meant for. But we do get it back. And now Mundell has it. Can he find Marriott? Nope. He goes to Fitcher instead. Can he find Marriott? Nope. And now the ball goes to Bro To Bruff? I've no idea how to pronounce that. Wardrop over the top. Mundell's in. Can he score us the winner? He's put it into the keeper. But Marriott. Yes. Madam Marriott. 44th of the season. And that is the most important one so far. We are leading against Alfreton in the semi-finals of the playoffs. Wardrop had the ball. He played it over the top. Went to Mundell. And Mundell's shot was saved and knocked the keeper out of the way. And Marriott was never going to miss that open goal. And all oh, are they saying this should have been offside? Oh, VAR would have a field day with that. But thankfully, we cannot afford VAR. As the game continues, once again from the kickoff, right after the goal. But now Wilson with a ball goes long to Williams, to Casey, to Lintz. Oh, don't equalise. Don't equalise, please. Casey with it. Into Lintz. Goes over the top. And Bruff with the ball. He crosses it. And oh, it's a header. And it's just gone wide. Oh, ho, ho. Let's make some tactical changes here, boys. And what do you think we do? I'm thinking of putting, of taking Mundell off and putting a defender on for him. So either going five at the back or having a defensive midfielder. What do you think? Do we try and hold on or do we just leave it as it is? I think, I think, I think... Oh, I think this is going to be a mistake. If they score and we've only got one man up front. Oh, let's go for it here. Mundell is going to be taken off for uh, Cocoraccio. I think we're going to put him in there. 
and just have him as a defensive midfielder on defend. And hopefully we can see it out. Let's go balanced as well. Please let this work. Please. Five minutes left and we've got a corner ball. It's Embala with it. He whips it in and their keeper can only punch it away. Goes to fit it on the edge of the box. He should have taken the shot on now, I think. Coccaraccio. Oh, he almost gave the ball away there. Marriott plays it to Simmons. Simmons plays it through to Marriott. Can he get his hat trick? No, he can't. And they clear the ball, but only as far as our man Wardrop. And it's all back and forth at the minute. Nobody keeping the ball too well. And oh no, oh no, 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 no. Don't do this, don't do this. They've done it. Oh no. Oh, it was a mistake going defensive. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? We're going to extra time. And we've only got Mario up front on his lonesome. Oh, I have cocked this one up, boys and girls. Do you believe it? Oh, that is full time. It's two goals apiece. So we're going to extra time. I'm half tempted to really upset Cocoraccio and take him off again. I kind of want to take him off and put Terrell Whitaker just behind Marriott. That's what we're going to do. I'm really sorry, mate. It's my fault. I've made the mistake here. And let's go like that. 4 4 one, one once again. Let's go into the team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, let's once again go, I'm not happy with your performance. The most of them are fired up once more. And in the famous words of Sir Alf Ramsey back in 1966, we've won it once. Now let's go and win it again. Come on, Linux. Highlight right at the beginning of extra time. Hopkins with the ball. Goes out wide and Hinsley wins it. And they're over again. Hopkins again unable to win a header. Are we going to get this one back? Lumsden with the shot. He's been blocked. Oh, no, no, no. Heverington to Can. They are all over us here. Hinsley with it. And oh, I should have stayed 4 4 1 1 at the start of this. At, at, in the second half. Lumsden's in. Oh, I don't believe this. I do not Adam and Eve this at all. What a game this has been. Barnett with the ball. Jonslan beat Hopkins there and made it all too easy for Lumsden to put the ball home. One more highlight just before half time and extra time. If Alfreton score another one now, we are done for. As, oh, oh, Hopkins. I put him in. I thought he was due a good game. I, how, how has this happened? Oh, two years in a row we failed in the semi-finals. This is not good. Well, it doesn't matter if Alfreton score any more goals now. So we're going much higher defensive line. Distribute to target man. And we're going more direct passing. Much higher tempo. <sighs> we need a miracle. We need a miracle. We need a miracle. We need two goals in 15 minutes. First highlight of the second half of extra time is their man with the throw in. Goes to Lumsden. Jones blocks it. And now can Whitaker win the ball? Yes, he can. He gets it through to Marriott, who is in space. Can he keep on running? He can. He goes for the shot. The keeper's saved it. And it's all oh, thought I was about to go out for a corner ball. But that may have been it. Look at our players. They are sattered. Ah. Oh well, oh well, one more season at this level, we are just stuck in this league, 4-2 defeat for
from being 2-1 up with, what, 20 minutes left? Maybe not even that, I think it was. What was it? Yeah, Marriott's second goal. 17 minutes left. We lost the game. Four goals to two. 20 shots. Two there, 19. 13 on target. Two there, 10. Three clear-cut chances. Two there, five. Possession right down the middle. Ah, let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. And I'm going to go just one of those days. Because, to be honest, I think that's my fault we've lost that game. I bottled it. I tried to go defensive when we really shouldn't have. And so, you know what, guys? That is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Every thumbs up really, really does help the channel out. And subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. Not only this series, but as of tomorrow, I'm going to be starting a India and Mumbai City FC series on the channel. A Building the Nation Challenge. I'm going to play the trailer for that at the end of this video. So do keep watching if you haven't seen that on my Twitter page yet. Speaking of which, you can follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming, and as well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, the Twitter, the website, the Facebook, all that good stuff, all the details as ever down below. And yeah, guys, I'll be back with this series on Friday as we start season five at this level next season we are going up i'm telling you we're gonna win the league next year i'm starting to sound like a liverpool fan now arrivederci